And I remember as a kid discovering that there were maps of the moon and there were mountains and there were names of places. And it wasn't just a light up in the sky, it was a place that really got me interested in what is the surface like, what are the conditions like. For as long as we have gazed to the heavens, the moon's far side has been hidden from us, keeping scientists in the dark. Oddly enough, for the moon and most other satellites in the solar system, they all keep one side toward the planet that they're going around. So you have a near side, which is always the near side, and a far side, which is always the far side. Before the Luna 3 probe, no one had ever seen the mysterious far side. A world full of unknowns. It fueled some outlandish ideas. There were stories like the Germans might have established a base on the backside of the moon during World War II. There's a very amusing Isaac Asimov short story about first astronauts going around on the far side of the moon, and it's all stage props there on the backside. When the Luna 3 images were beamed back down to Earth, it was a shocking revelation. In 59, out of nowhere, the Russians suddenly had a photograph of the far side of the moon. That photograph was kind of strange to everybody because it didn't look much at all like the front side of the moon. For planetary scientists like Bill Hartman, this picture was completely unexpected. So this is the front side of the moon, and these dark patches are big lava plains that erupted on the moon. It's something like a third of the front side is covered by these lava plains. But there's a striking difference on the mysterious far side. The big difference from the far side, and this is the Russian far side picture, is that there just are not as many patches of dark lava on the far side. But that wasn't all. Luna 3 also revealed a hillier, more rugged far side, contrasting dramatically with the much flatter, darker near side. There were actually people in the United States who suggested that the Russians were faking it, that, that, that this, this couldn't be a backside of the moon picture because it didn't look very much like the front. Then you're curious about, well, what's the rest of the story? What are we going to find out? And as we began to learn more about the moon, it, in a way, it got more interesting and, and more complex. 